Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the new features in Photoshop CS6. Now yes, that is Photoshop CS6. Um, they have released a beta for this program. Um, you can get it in a link that I'm going to put in the description. It's completely free, so I recommend you download that and try out some of the new features. Um, so, we're going to get started feature we're going to be taking a look at today is under the filter menu and it's called adaptive wide angle. Now basically what this does is you can see this image here is um, basically it's been taken with either like a wide angle um, lens or it's been taken um, with a fisheye lens. So basically what this filter allows you to do is take and fix that back to what a normal image would kind of look like. So it basically takes these areas that are supposed to be straight that are curved in those type of images and makes them straight um, so that you can get back from what you have right here. So we're going to take and go up to filter and once you have your image selected filter and then down to adaptive wide angle. So that'll bring up this window right here. Now, the first thing you need to do is set your focal length. Now, if you've taken a photo um, with like a DSLR camera, um, maybe even a lower end camera, most of the time it'll actually know what the focal length is and save it in the image data. And Photoshop can read that and set your focal length accordingly. Now, if you don't know what that is, um, you'll need to try and figure out what that is and set it manually. Um, or if you do know what it is, but it, you're, it didn't come off of your picture, then again, set it manually. So basically what you can do with this, um, I found that you can use this almost better than some of the tools within this in order to get the effect that you're looking for. So basically I just move this down until I don't see those corners on the edge um, where if I go too far you'll start to see those corners kind of ripping away. And basically just click OK. And you can see a before and after here. Fish eye not fisheye and that's a pretty good result. Now there are some other tools um, that I'm going to show you within that that you can use to refine uh, the result that you get. So we go up to filter and then down to adaptive wide angle again just starting over with this image. Um, I'm going to set this to around 25 because that'll give us some of that curving um, so that I can show you exactly what is happening. So the first tool up here is the constraint tool um, and then you have the polygon constraint tool. Now the polygon constraint tool basically means that you can take and select out um, a rectangle where the lines are supposed to be straight and they're currently curved and this one is basically just doing the same thing except with a line. So the first thing we're going to do is just grab the constraint tool and we're going to click the first point and then we're going to click the last point on a line that's supposed to be straight that currently isn't. Now, once you do that, you can see that you get these this circle and this line right here. Basically, this middle point, you can kind of bend your line a little bit so that you can tweak um, exactly what Photoshop is straightening. And then you can take and use this in order to rotate if you grab one of these round uh, nodes on this outer circle. So basically, you can just take and do this. Now, you can see as I click a point and then I go to add another point that Photoshop is bending the line. Um, so it's getting pretty close to that curve. Now again, when you actually have the focal length that you took it at, um, the exact number, um, this is going to be much more accurate. Um, but you can see that it's kind of using that focal length that I typed in in order to bend the line um, to start. So I'm just going to click there and you can see again it's made these lines straight. Now our windows are a little bit um, sketchy over here. Now um, for this you might need to take a little bit longer but I'm just going to try and get something rough here. We can kind of match this line up to our windows a little bit. And again, um, you will want to take some time to actually tweak this, but again, start with some of the larger things like the building um, and some of the things that your viewer is going to be focusing on and it won't be as apparent that maybe little things are off um, elsewhere if you focus on the big aspects. So what I'm going to do, you can see that it's basically taken and made some transparent area. Now that's almost unavoidable when you're using the constraint tool. Um, now you can get rid of that using other things such as the content aware fill. Um, you can use just healing tools. Um, but what I'm just going to do is click OK and I'm just going to crop it out because that's fairly easy. So um, the Photoshop uh, CS6 also has a new crop tool which is pretty cool. Um, some new features within there so it works a little bit differently. But I can take and crop out some of this and maybe just cut out some of the top where it actually bends a little weirdly. And now we can take, take and check out our history. So there's the original and there's the final. Now, 
this line gets a little bit more bendy. I've had it work before where this line isn't as bendy, so you might want to take and go back in there and just uh, play around with it a little bit more. Again, the more time you spend tweaking that, the better result you get. And since this is just a tutorial, um, I don't want to take and spend 15, 20 minutes just tweaking the lines in order to get it perfect because you can do that on your own time. So I just wanted to show you that that tool does exist now in Photoshop CS6. So hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.